Hey, what's up everybody? We're going to check out Pie Girl today and do a little bit of upgrading. Everybody's probably wondering, why did it only have two buttons? Well, we're going to make it four buttons now in, in 123D. So if you open the file, if you download the file, uh, Pie Girl Pocket Parts, you'll see this is all the parts that are not cut, buoyant, they're all solid and editable. So the first thing we should do is take the main body part and hide it so I can get to the guts. I'm going to go ahead and delete the two buttons here. These are actually 12 millimeter tactile uh, buttons. And what we need to do is duplicate uh, these, uh, this set of buttons here. So I'll just go ahead and hide um, the D-pad here. And now I have access to the four buttons. Um, what I'll do is I'll hold on shift to select all four of them. And instead of copying and then pasting it over, I want a complete mirror of it. So I have a couple sketches already uh, lined up here. So I hit show sketches. I can see all the little lines that are on the grid that I made earlier when I was building the project. So um, ah, I click something else. So I'll have to select them again, come up here to mirror and then click on mirror, <laughs> change the mode to mirror plane and then select uh, this plane here that's on the Y. And then you can see it, it, it quickly, easily made a duplicate of it, a mirror duplicate. So hit enter to accept that. And these are the six millimeter buttons that we're using. So now it's just like the D-pad. Um, you want to keep it in that orientation because of the perma proto, unless you wanted to cut the board in half. I'm not going to go through all that. So one, a couple things that you'll notice right off the bat is that now our buttons are intersecting with the speaker. So all we have to do is just move the speaker, right? So it's made out of a couple parts. So it's got like a a little rip ring holder, the little cutouts, and then the actual um, sort of widget that that uh, represents the speaker. So I'll just move it um, down on the x on the x, and I'll move it by six millimeters, like that. And you'll notice that now it's no longer intersecting. So that's good. Uh, another thing we'll need to do is uh, move this here um, standoffs. These are standoffs for the little magnet. That's what holds the bottom corner together and this is the corner that has that really nice rounded edge so we'll go ahead and move that by six the same distance that we we did the speaker and got a couple other things to move so the power boost right this one's cool um since i have it as a group um, all the individual pieces are in a group so when i select one piece it'll select them all so that's really nice it's a nice feature um and then i'll just move it by six i, I should have just typed it in six like that Hit enter, and now we just one more piece, guys. <laughs> just one more piece. So this corner piece here is the only standoff that has a screw. Out of the whole thing, you only have one standoff on the corner, which is pretty neat. So I'll move it by six as well, and then I'll have one last, <laughs> kind of last thing to do. Um, so if we if we show the solids, um, we can see the uh, couple components are sort of sticking out. So I'll, I need to extend. Uh, the bottom part of the enclosure. So I'll hit P on my keyboard and then just click on that surface and then I'll look distance six. Perfect. And I'll move it by six. And now everything should be in its place. It's a little bit bigger. But it's about you know by six mil. It's because you know we, we have that speaker there and we don't have much room else to, to just move it. So this is a really cool opportunity for you guys to you know make the project better. It gives you a chance to remix it. You know, get brush up on your CAD. It wasn't too hard for me to move some stuff around, especially since most of the stuff is already figured out. The only thing now left to do is to model the buttons and the cutouts for those buttons. So that's up to you guys, and I hope you learned something, and let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.